I feel like an adult. I want a refund on adulthood, please. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. I have a hat on today. First time I've worn a hat in so long, but it's because my hair is so disgusting. Do you want a pair of glasses? It smells like the same thing right here. lunch with one of Sam's former teammates. I cannot believe, so this guy, Sam was a senior when he was a freshman. So I met this guy, TJ. I met him when I had already graduated college and he'll graduate in May. So it's just crazy, but we're gonna go hang out with him, meet him for lunch, haven't seen him in so long. Um, and then we're going to go to Ingalls and we did not look at what we need. I know we don't need milk. I looked at that. Um, but that is literally the only thing we have on the agenda for today. I self tan this morning, so it's still kind of setting slowly. But yeah, nothing nothing exciting happening today. I don't think we have anything hap exciting happening tomorrow except we're actually gonna do brunch because last Sunday we tried to do brunch and it was a complete disaster. Oh, and did my nails. Look how cute. I got these little star stickers off of Amazon. I wanted, um, I talked about it in a vlog. I like wanted to get my nails done and I just went to the salon and had to like wait and wait and wait. Finally I had to leave. But it took five dang days to get all this stuff in. But I got my little star nails and I have them over here too. Really cute. So that's really it. That's what we got going on today. Nothing. Breakfast. Ooh. You make that look so good. I cannot make bacon. So, okay. I have two kinds. Well, actually, oh crap. I didn't realize we still had these, babe. Uh, those were fine last time. I remember those. Those were pretty yeah, good. Yeah, so, okay. Might be. Got a little carried away with buying gluten-free pancake mix. Ooh, we have these. We could do almond, the banana muffin bread. Well, I need to know before I start cleaning this if you want pancakes. Or I want pancakes if you don't want those. I'm probably not eating either, so. You're literally just gonna eat bacon? Probably eat like one or two pieces of that. So I'm eating brunch. Okay, I also have this gluten-free mix. Let's see, this one is 140 calories for one quarter of a cup. This one is 150, good lord. <laughs> so they're not any lower in calorie, but I'm gonna go ahead, I think, yeah, these were good last time. So let's go ahead and use these. This is also good. Yummy. Doug. You want some bacon? You think you were part of brunch? Yeah. Yum. You guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Today has been one of those days. Not where everything's going wrong, but just like where all of these things that have to happen, have to happen today. Okay, so I'm gonna vent for a second. <laughs> you just have to excuse me. So this morning started out great, like so good. Um, I got, me and my mom actually started BBG Stronger today. So we were lifting heavier weights, got my workout in. Um, I ran for like 15 minutes after because I was kind of running out of time. So I ran for about 15. I ended up by like 10 o'clock, I had hit my move goal for the whole day. So I was like, look at me. I've like already worked out a lot. I got my workout in, I hit my move goal and then the cramp started and it's all just gone to hell since then <laughs> like ever since I got my cramps I was like I forgot it was this week I forgot it was that time <laughs> and then it's just all this stuff so last week I ended up having to go to the doctor I set up an appointment like normal set up an appointment usual doctor stuff nothing crazy just going to the doctor, right? I get there and this is the first time I've been to the doctor since getting my insurance with Sam. Now Sam works for a company that has amazing insurance. Like it should be some of the best of the best insurance. So, I mean, it's a little bit more on the expensive side, a lot cheaper than what it probably should be. 
to be as covering as it is. But I was like, you know, okay, I'm going to go to the doctor. I can go to all the doctors because I got good insurance now. And they were like, that'll be $283. And I was like, oh my God. Okay. So I paid the $283 that I thought was my freaking office visit. And I was like pissed and Sam was pissed. And my mom and dad are on the same insurance plan because my husband and dad work for the same company. So they were pissed off and like everyone's just been mad. So today um, I ended up, I was like, let me look at my EOB. Let me download the explanation of benefits because I feel like I'll get a better understanding of it then. Like, we were so mad. We were honestly like, let's just change insurance companies. Like, if we're going to pay this much money for for basically no coverage, we're just going to not have that insurance. So I'm like, decide, I'm like oh, we're going to get new insurance. And then I get online and the explanation of benefits said the entire visit was only like $180 and I only should have paid $30 for my copay. So I was like, excuse me, doctor's office. Like, I know it's not their fault. So I was very, very kind. I want to be very clear about that. But I was like, excuse me, where did that extra $100 come from? Why did I pay that? It says only $30. Do you need my explanation of benefits? I can download it for you. I can send it to you. But I was just like pissed because I was like, where did they come up with this number, this magical $283, if, like, the whole visit entirely should have been $100 cheaper than that? So then, then I get in my pink lily package, and one of the dresses that I was super excited about does not look cute on me. The boobies, it's a lot. There's, like, it's very, very low cut, and it makes them look very odd. So I was like, all right, gotta go return that. And then they only give store credit for this one. So I'm just like, this is, this has not been a fun day. I turned 26 on Saturday. I feel like an adult. I want a refund on adulthood, please. I would like my money back for my doctor's appointment and for adulting. I I want a refund. So, I'm about to run to the post office now. Uh, yeah, that's kind of I'm kind of just sitting around in limbo waiting on these people to email me back and tell me where they pulled this extra hundred dollars from. Cause I'm like, you owe me an explanation. You owe me that. So we'll just, we'll see what they say, I guess. I'm done venting now. Positive vibes. Get out all of the bad stuff. Only good stuff in from here on out. <laughs> okay, I'm home. And I must say, my day is not as bad as the lady at the post office's. That poor woman. Every time I've gone to the post office the last, like, two weeks, someone's yelling at her for something that she, like, she works in the post office. She's not your delivery driver. Stop yelling at her. She didn't do anything, okay? But I'm home now, and I forgot the recycle. I was gonna take the recycle while I was out, and I passed the dump. I think we're just gonna start this day up. We're just gonna like go back to bed, and we'll just reset tomorrow. It's called fashion. Look it up. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I just got up, and I am making coffee now. I've been doing French press, and you guys, it is like, Ugh. It's like frustrating to make it because it takes so long ish in a way, but it is um, So much better but today. I don't care. I am so in need of coffee Come on wait So it is stormy and rainy and so disgusting here, which is why I literally have every light in this house on. And it's like so crazy out. I wanted to tell you guys, I've been loving using my French press. Um, one of the reasons I started using it was because, you know, I'm trying to eliminate as much as the, the majority of BPA in my house. Um, I was reading an article and it was basically like, you're not gonna be able to get rid of it. Don't stress yourself out. Living a life trying to be BPA free, just get rid of the big things and those will make a big difference. And one of the things it talked about was a coffee pot. Um, and you know, everyone always is like, when I mentioned all of my BPA free stuff, no one's ever encouraging. They're always like, you're doing way too much. That's not, that's so unnecessary. Or like I've always said, they're, they're like, you're not doing enough. Like you're not being clean. You're not living a natural life. You really need to do more work on it. And I'm like, just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm taking it one day at a time. So um, yeah, that was one of the things I read was that if you wanna like eliminate the biggest BPA filled thing in your home, change your coffee pot, use a percolator, a drip, or a French press. I think it's what it's called as a drip. Um, 
and sure enough, like, you know, it distrib it messes up your hormones and stuff. They say that's what BPA can do. And the past week, my hormones have been crazy. I mean, obviously, for my cycle, but, like, usually I don't get PMS until, like, two days before. And my hormones were, like, crazy last week because I feel like that's when I really started doing the French press, like, religiously and I didn't even use like k-cups or anything and I also got a bunch of acne and my mom even changed out hers and they use a percolator now she got all this acne all of a sudden and it was like it's hormones it's our body like getting rid of all that crap that's been in it for all this time um but yeah I'm not really sure what I've I've shared on this vlog is probably gonna be a very short very boring one but there's been nothing going on yesterday was the busiest day of my life and it kept getting busier like I was gonna vlog last night you guys I literally worked until like 11 p.m um because I just had so much stuff to keep doing and then today won't be as busy but I do have to film a main channel video so it will be like busy for me but not busy on the vlog channel <laughs> Got Amazon orders coming today. Wanted to try these. They're like Yes Bars. I've never had them before. They, this like is a variety pack. Can't wait to try those. Also a little sneak peek at some of the stuff I've ordered that will be coming in Amazon videos next week. That's for Sam's jersey. A bunch of you guys told us fabric glue. And um, a couple of you guys actually messaged me and sent me that one, so. Okay guys, I'm just gonna have to call it here. I have so much to do today. Um, I clearly started work without getting ready, which I don't love to do because I feel like I'm more productive when I'm ready, but it's just, it's what I got to do today. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Hopefully there is more happening in the next one. <laughs>